I chose to study natural sciences because it's just a really broad course. I knew I really wanted to study science, but I didn't know which part of science I wanted to study. I quite like the idea of trying lots of different things and being, um, having lots of different skills. At Gonville and Keys College, I'm Director of Studies in Biology and that means that I have a sort of overall responsibility for the studies of the biological scientists in the natural sciences tripos. Students coming to study physical natural sciences tend to focus in on five or six subjects, physics, mathematics, chemistry, earth sciences, material sciences. The great strength of the natural sciences course is that it doesn't designate you as a particular kind of scientist from day one. So you can come in uncertain of what your interests are, and then as you learn more about the subjects as the year goes by, you can begin to specialise and opportunities for that come up in the second and third year. I found it really interesting. We've covered a real broad range of topics, and I'm already starting to understand which ones I'd like to explore more next year. Keyes being one of the older colleges is blessed with glorious old buildings as well as brand new state-of-the-art accommodation. The accommodation at Keyes is, is definitely the best of all of the colleges. So we have the choice between two buildings, the Stephen Hawking building, which is where I am, and Harvey Court. It's really nice to be in a pretty old college in the centre of town. It makes a huge difference. It's the perfect location for the course that I'm on because we're only 10 minutes from the centre of town, 10 minutes from lectures and also from the West Cambridge site where you have the majority of your practicals. We take about 30 natural scientists every year, so you'll be part of quite a big cohort of people who are all studying the same subject and working their way through their university career together. We tend to do a lot of our work together in the evenings, which is really nice, so if you're struggling with a question, you just will all meet up and work together in someone's room, which makes coping with the course a lot, a lot easier. So the supervision system really supports the lectures that are provided by the university and the departments. The supervisions are really good because they sort of set you work, it kind of pushes you further than the actual lectures themselves. And this small group teaching really allows you to, to focus in on the things that you need to know to, to improve your education. It's great to talk to somebody and, you know, about their subject and their eyes light up and they, they're genuinely interested in you understanding the subject. It's very challenging but in a good way. It pushes you really quite hard but there's a really good support network set up to help you cope with that challenge. We get to know each other very well because I was the person who was there doing the interview on that first day and I'm also the person who's there all the way through and shakes your hand when you come out of the Senate House on graduation day. So it really is a continuous interest in our students at every point of the course.